let us discuss about a said sub rule i will teach you very simply to understand said sub rule before that let us understand what is a said sub rule we go through this uh, first line in intramolecular dehydration what is mean by intra as well as dehydration the term intra stands for within the term intra stands for within within a single compound here the term dehydration stands for removal of water just remove h2o from a single organic compound that is intramolecular dehydration another term is that intermolecular dehydration inter means between the two molecule between the two organic compound so intramolecular dehydration takes place within a single organic compound in that case we will get double bond compounds so the first condition said sub rule is applicable for this intramolecular dehydration whenever there is a chance to form more than one position that is a double bond during elimination reaction double bond is produced between carbon carbon whenever there is a chance to make more than one position that same double bond that is a statement if there is a possibility to form a carbon carbon double bond at different locations or different positions then we have to choose the double bond which contains more number of uh, substituent more number of alkyl groups that double bond that uh, alkene that olefin is more stable that is said sub group double bond where which gets more number of alkyl group that is more stable according to said sub rule we can understand better by using one example let's see one example dehydration of 3,3 dimethyl 2 butanol let's see the chemical reaction to understand better about said sub rule look at this organic compound it is 3,3 dimethyl 2 butanol let us give numbering 1 2 3 4 at the second carbon we have oh group alcohol group at the third carbon we have two methyl group 1 and 2 so 3,3 3, dimethyl 2 4 carbon in long chain so 2 butanol it undergoes dehydration in the presence of uh, sulfuric acid concentrated sulfuric acid which is a good dehydrating agent h2so4 the same h2so4 is written here h o s yes, double bond o double bond o bond o bond h this is structure of a sulfuric acid during this reaction first step protonation takes place let us remove this proton from oh and this oxygen gets minus here we know very well this oxygen carries a pair of electron this two electron is utilized to make bond with hydrogen h plus this step is protonation so due to protonation this oxygen gets positive charge plus so this is a protonated alcohol it is a first step second step elimination of water takes place from this organic compound remove h2o with bonded electron then this carbon gets plus charge carbon gets plus here we have to remove one hydrogen from beta carbon this is beta carbon let us understand what is alpha what is beta the oh attached carbon is alpha carbon here in this first structure the second carbon that is oh is directly attached this carbon is this is alpha the next two alpha carbon that may be right side or left side that is beta carbon so let us understand alpha and beta the oh directly attached carbon is alpha carbon next carbon is beta carbon now i am going to remove one hydrogen from beta carbon in this step so you can remove this hydrogen this is beta this carbon is alpha so remove this h plus that time these two electrons moves here so between carbon carbon this terminal carbon we will get a double bond so this is the structure of the product ch3 bond c ch3 ch3 bond ch double bond ch2 from this organic compound this is 
less stable, very less stable. The reason we will understand finally. Right hand side of a double bond, we have two hydrogen. Left hand side of a double bond, one carbon is directly attached with one group that is alkyl group. So it has one time alkyl group, left side, right hand side, no alkyl group. Now, the another chance also there, the same product that is uh, after elimination of water, what we got, secondary carbocation, it may undergo methyl shift. The reason behind this, secondary carbocation is less stable than tertiary carbocation. So, in order to attain tertiary carbocation, this CH3 group migrates towards this positive ion, positive carbon. That time, this carbon acquires plus. So, that structure is CH3 bond C, CH3 bond C, CH3, CH3. Now, this carbon acquires plus charge. This is more stable because this is tertiary carbocation. Left side one carbon unit, right side one carbon unit and above this one carbon unit. Whenever a carbon is linked with three carbon unit, this carbon is tertiary carbon. So, this positive ion, we will call it tertiary carbocation. Tertiary carbocation is always more stable than secondary carbocation. You have to remember this. In the next step, this tertiary carbocation undergoes beta elimination, removal of one hydrogen from beta carbon. I told you the where the charge is produced, this carbon is alpha. This carbon is beta, maybe left side or right side. This also beta carbon. Now let us remove one hydrogen from left side carbon. So when you remove this hydrogen minus H plus, these two electrons moves here. So CH2 double bond C. CH2 double bond C. And remaining part, whatever there, here, right hand side, you write here. In the same way, let us remove hydrogen from right side beta carbon. Remove this hydrogen, move these two electrons towards here between carbon carbon. So we will get a CH3 present in left side bond C, C, CH3 here between carbon carbon double bond. This carbon contains two methyl group, two methyl group. So like that also possible. So there are three possible products for this reaction. This is first product second product, third product. In first product already we counted number of alkyl group only one is attached with this double bond carbon. In the second one, left side no alkyl groups, right side of a double bond we have one, two alkyl groups. So number of alkyl groups two. In a third structure, look at this left side one, Two and uh, right side of a double bond again two so two plus two four alkyl groups four methyl groups attached so out of all these three product the product which has more number of alkyl group is more stable according to side sub rule so already I, we discussed this has one alkyl group it has a two alkyl group it has a four alkyl group so this is more stable let us give number for these uh, compounds this is number one, this is number two, this is number three. So out of all, which is more stable and major product, number one is major product, then two, then three. I hope you understand side sub rule. According to side sub rule, during this uh, possibility only, that is uh, formation of more than one double bond compounds maybe in position 1 to 2 this also 1 to 2 this is 2 3 carbon carbon number 2 and 3 so it depends upon position of a double bond the compound which contains more number of branches more number of alkyl groups that olefin is more stable according to side sub rule if you like this kindly share it thank you thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe our channel